Dear students, class six. Our today's lecture is from your Broadway book, course book six. It is your uh, unit four, adventure sports, and the first lesson from it, which is women mountaineers, pinnacle of success. Moving on uh, to your reading part, which is on page number seventy three. Let's start with the reading. Women mountaineers, pinnacle of success. Pinnacle of success means the height of success. Mount Everest. in nepal and k2 enanga parbat in pakistan are among the highest mountains in the world over the years many people from all over the world have attempted to climb these mountains while some climbers reach the top others are not as successful many climbers have died in their attempt to climb these dangerous mountains yet despite these risks men and women climb these mountains for their love of adventure in the last 50 years More than seventy-five women have climbed the world's highest mountain, Mount Everest. The first woman mountaineer to climb the Everest was Junko Tabei, a Japanese student and mother. I am a free spirit. Call me the free spirit of the mountains. She climbed Mount Everest in nineteen seventy-five. Technique and ability alone do not get you to the top. It is the will power that is the most important. You cannot buy this will power with money or take it from others. It rises from your heart. Only 12 women have ascended Nanga Parbat in the last 50 years. Lillian Barrard from France was the first woman to summit Nanga Parbat in 1984. She climbed it with her husband Maurice Barrard. Of all the women climbers, Wanda Rutkiewicz from Poland was the lead. Wanda Rutkiewicz conquered eight of the tallest peaks in the world and was the first woman to climb K2 successfully. She graduated with master's degrees in science and in and in electronic engineering from the Polytechnic Institute of Rockclaw. At the age of eighteen years, she climbed. She started climbing in the local Tatra Mountains. Later, she climbed the Alps and the Norwegian Mountains. Climbing in all female teams, she went on to climb the East Pillar of the Trollhättan in Norway in nineteen sixty eight, the North Pillar and the Eiger in nineteen seventy three. and the north face of the matterhorn in 1978 on 16th october 1978 she became the third woman the first pole and the first european woman to reach the summit of mount everest in 1986 she became the first woman to successfully climb and descend k2 as part of a small expedition led by lillian and maurice berard so far only 5 women have climbed k2 Wanda's goal was to become the first woman to summit all 14 of the 8000ers. During her climbing career, she successfully summited the following mountains: 1978 Mount Everest, 1985 Nanga Parbat, 1986 K2, 1987 Shisha Panga, Pangma, 1989 Gashabram 1, 1990 Gashabram 1, first Gashabram 2 then Gashabram 1, 1991 Chohyo, 1991 Annapurna 1. Wanda was also a writer and a photographer. She wrote two books and several articles and reports on mountaineering. During the last 10 years of her life, she put a lot of time and energy to making films on Aconcagua K2, Cerro Torre, Nanga Parbat, Gashabram 2 and on the people of the Baltro region. Wanda was also concerned about the ecological aspects of mountain areas. She was a founding trustee of the Mountain Wilderness Organization. She died in 1992 while climbing Mount Kanchunga in Nepal Wanda Rutkiewicz was a strong and determined person and mountaineer she was given the prestigious sitara e imtiaz star of distinction by the government of pakistan posthumously she was awarded the king albert medal of merit christine boskov who has climbed six of the tallest peaks is highly influenced by wanda rutkiewicz wanda was a huge influence to me unfortunately there really hasn't been anyone after her to influence me She played a huge part in establishing a place for women in the high altitude mountaineering world. Now moving on to the meanings. First word is observed, noticed, mushahida kiya, unassisted, not helped by anyone, ghair madad yafta, authenticate, verify, tasdeeq karna, succeeded, triumph, kamyab, previous, foregoing, pichle, glory, fame, jalal, practiced, exercise, mashq, championed, promote. चैम्पियन इज एनी वन हु हैज़ वन एनी थिंग एरीना स्टेडियम कोई भी ऐसी जगह जहाँ पर कोई गेम हो रेप्यूट रिस्पेक्टेड जिसकी इज्जत हो अकम्पलिश स्किलफुल कामयाब रिस्पेक्टफुली एहतराम से विद रिस्पेक्ट रिगार्डेड 
समझा जाता है कंसिडर सिक्योरिंग महफूज फिक्स वैल्यूएबल कीमती प्रेशर्स कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन शराकत डोनेट चैनल इज ब्रॉडकास्टिंग फील्ड मैदान खेत फार्मिंग से रिलेटेड कोई भी चीज़ इमर्जिंग उभरता हुआ बिकमिंग फेम शोहरत रिनाउंड मूविंग ऑन टू द सेंटेंसेज आई ऑब्जर्व द ट्री वेरी केयरफुली बाई अली समर शी गुड नॉट वॉक अनअसिस्टेडली ट्राई टू ऑथेंटिकेट ऑल योर डॉक्यूमेंट्स फाइनली कायद आजम सक्सीडेड इन हिज मिशन द डॉक्टर वॉन्टेड टू नो माई प्रीवियस हिस्ट्री मे अल्लाह गिव ग्लोरी टू पाकिस्तान आई प्रैक्टिस फुटबॉल टूडे आई चैम्पियन एट बास्केटबॉल आई प्लेड फुटबॉल इन द न्यू अरीना शी इज़ अ रेप्यूटेड टीचर He is an accomplished man. I am respectfully crossing. I am respectfully talking to my teacher. He is regarded as a uh, as an honest man. He owns a very valuable car. Now the exercises are fill in the details in this table. You have to fill in all the details of Janko Tabee, Lillian Barat, and Wanda Rutkiewicz. Say whether the following statements are true or false. The first woman to climb Mount Everest was a European. We have to find out whether it's true or false. Wanda started her climbing career when she was 29 years old. Lillian and Lillian and Wanda climbed K2 together. Wanda was successful in climbing six of the tallest peaks in the world. Next are the question answers. Wanda, what was Wanda's dream? Was she successful in making her dream come true? Yes, she was successful. She wanted to be a good climber. She was also a writer and a photographer. She wrote two books, and her goal was to become the first woman to summit all fourteen of the eight thousanders, and she did that. List the important achievements in the life of Wanda Rutkiewicz in the following years: nineteen seventy-eight. In 1978 she climbed the Mount Everest in 1985 she climbed Nanga Parbat in 1986 she climbed K2 mention some qualities that led to the success of Janko Tabi Lillian Barad and Wanda Rutkiewicz as mountaineers first and foremost thing is their will power Here are is a list of equipment used in the adventure sports choose the equipment used in each of the sports given in the screen and put them in the correct order now river rafting may you need ropes you need a helmet you need paddle oars then you need a raft and a life jacket in skiing you need boots ski suit snow goggles sleeping bag in trekking you need boots rucksack tents and so on and so forth in the passage we read about two mountaineers going on an expedition to everest do you know the meaning of the word expedition expedition is any collection of people getting together and planning to climb a certain mountain or anything that they any adventurous escapade that they want to conquer it means a long journey made by a group of people to a place that is dangerous or that has not yet been visited before he was the youngest member of the everest expedition in 1974 study this extract from a dictionary a journey can be a long or a short distance a voyage is a long journey by sea or in space somebody's travels are long journeys from one place or country to another for pleasure or interest travel is an uncountable noun which describes the act of traveling a tour is a journey on which you stop and visit several places a trip is a journey to a particular place and back an excursion is a trip usually made in a group while on holiday now fill in the blanks in these sentences using the right travel word from the given dictionary extract this weekend we are going to an dash to the lahore zoological garden this is a tour an excursion to the lahore zoological garden this is an excursion i get tired of the dash to work every day i t- get tired of the trip after a long and tiresome car travel we decided to rest for the night in a motel the titanic sank on its first voyage from england to the us swift describes the travels of gulliver in his book gulliver's travels learn spelling the letters in the following words are not in the correct order and scramble them to find the names of few adventure sports remember all the names ending in ing trekking skiing rafting surfing kayaking learn grammar the present perfect continuous tense look at the following sentences since the everest expedition the attitude of women towards mountaineering has been changing i have been making plans for the summer vacations both sentences are in the present perfect continuous form that is they use the has have plus been plus ing form we use the present perfect continuous form to refer to actions that have been happening over a period of time for example to talk about situations which started in the past and are still going on example we've been playing tennis all afternoon i've been waiting for 20 minutes add a sentence in the present perfect continuous use the words in brackets the first one has been done for you the ground is wet it has been raining the girls are tired they have been working hard rahil and kareem look annoyed they have been arguing ali's shoes are dirty they have been playing in the mud madiha is anxious she has been waiting for the exam results the teacher has a sore throat she has been teaching for 3 hours here are a few situations write a sentence in the present perfect continuous to describe each situation Ali went into the swimming pool an hour ago. 
He doesn't want to come out yet. Ali has been swimming for one hour. Vakas started writing a story two hours hours ago. He hasn't finished writing it yet. He has been Vakas has been writing for two hours. Saad rang Zain half an hour ago, and they're still talking on the phone. Saad and Zain have been talking on the phone for an hour. Rita began reading a book an hour ago. She hasn't put it down yet. Rita has Rita has been reading a book for an hour. Sharon began cooking three hours ago. She hasn't finished cooking yet. Sharon has been cooking for three hours. Raza started preparing his bike two hours ago. He is still repairing it. Raza started repairing his bike two hours ago. Asking about distances using how far. Study the following. Tourist, how far is Mari from Islamabad? Guide, it's very near, just a few miles away. Rahil, how far is your home? Kiran, it's very far. It takes me around 45 minutes to reach home from school. Tourist, how far is Kardu from here? Travel agent, it's long way from here. It will take you two days to get there. On the next page in a, is a map of Pakistan with a few famous monuments, cities, towns marked on it. Study the map carefully and complete the given questions using how far. Answer the question using near, far, a long way. Now this is the map of Pakistan. How far is the Faisal Mosque from Mari? It is not very far. It's quite near. How far is the Minyare Pakistan from Hyderabad? How far is Hyderabad from Islamabad? It's a long way to Hyderabad from Islamabad. How far is the Zayalat residency from Quetta? It's a far place from... It's not all that far, but it's somewhere around Quetta. How far is uh, Hyderabad from Islamabad? It is very far. Okay, now we finished the lesson. Hope you've understood the entire lesson. This is sea swimming, adventure sports. Adventure sports are uh, in it. We have used mountaineering and bungee jumping, sky wind, surfing, rafting, gliding, diving, jumping, skiing. All these. Look at the pictures. These are all adventure sports. I hope you like the video. Please like and subscribe our channel.